Sometimes I'll buy these old burlap feed sacks at antique stores or flea markets or farmer's market and you can buy those. And they're fabulous for backgrounds, for altered art. For instance, our poultry party stamp set collage pack and card kit. You can do something with the background from the poultry party set on a feed sack like this. Fabulous idea. Okay, it looks like we're off on another adventure. I bet. Oh, I heard it. The dryer being. No, oh, this teasing, it didn't bang yet. It's not banging. It's supposed to be. I think I said on 10 minutes instead of 2. Go check. cups from breakfast sitting here. These are actually art materials. Watch what you can do with a coffee dyed tag. A little extra surprise. I like a coffee cup that has a nice sharp rim on it like this. And I treat it just like it's a stamp. And I stamp my tags with rings, coffee rings. See, I did those two already. Do little stamps of coffee rings, just a nice little effect. Maybe get enough coffee on it. Let it drip, a few drips. Come over, stamp. You want nice strong coffee and pretty warm coffee? Stamp. 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 That's okay, we don't care. Two coffee rings. There we go. When they dry, they'll look really nice and pretty. Like I said, make sure you use something that has a deep uh, ring on the back, like this on the bottom, because something like this won't really work very well. But you can try different coffee cups that you have at home to see what effect it is and what you like and bigger tags. You might want to use bigger bigger rings on the bottom. But this is kind of just a fun idea, especially if you're going to showcase a tag on a piece of altered art. I like to put my tags in jars. I love these big jars. You get them at Walmart. They're wonderful jars. These big ones, like this one here, so I have four dollars, two dollars. You have wonderful things to store your tags in. Over here are my circle tags. I'm going to fill my jar up. trims, papers, and I want you to know that there's a wonderful way to store your tags. I like to use transparent containers, and I choose jars, because they're nice and big, our tags fit in them, 
That's why I dyed the tags, individual, certain specific tags, in orders. Because this way you have a jar of circle tags, a jar of shipping tags, a jar of the MDA tags. I even keep my strings. Because these are makes really nice strings for these sometimes, or different things. So I keep the strings that came out of the dryer as well in the jar, and I grab those once in a while. And every jar has its own size tags. It's wonderful for your art studio. They look really cool and they are wonderful to access because you can see what's in a jar. I wanted to say one couple very last moment things here about about uh, coffee dyeing. I like to keep them loosely packed. I don't stuff them in the jar. That is, is probably just plenty right there for that jar. If you cram them in there, you're going to end up with tags that are ruined and you've spent your whole morning making tags. You want them to be nice and accessible to use in your artwork. When I have leftover tags, which you always will when you do boxes of thousands, um, I have this wonderful antique crate right here. This is a wonderful gem. I just love it. It will last forever. And I, again, put my tags sizes in different areas and divisions in the container so they're easy to access. And I love just using this for my extras. So sometimes when I go to a show, I just grab this right here and I use this. So that's a wonderful way to store your tags. One last moment uh, to explain something I, I mentioned before. The reason I don't fold my burlap and roll it is because it keeps from making creases and folds. And so I just roll it up and I like to tie it with jutes. Nothing fancy, but again, us artists like things that look pretty and look inspire us. And so I love having my stash of burlap all ready to go. My tags all separated, dried, ready to go, work on. My door lays on a little basket. My towel for the next experience in coffee dyeing. Hmm. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy coffee dyeing as much as I do. What? Do we probably have to store the lights in this box? Yeah, that's why I kept all the goodies there. Okay. Okay. Will you keep it up? And I want, to, I want you to keep it on for Rick. For Rick. Keep it on tape this, Jack. Okay, I'm going to do some stuff here first, okay. though. And, uh... It's just for Rick, okay? Okay, one sec. I'm doing some stills of the stuff that you have.